We've moved up to the scoreboard club, the exciting new space we have for Bulldog Club members here in the north end zone at Davis Wade Stadium. Uh, this is, Chess, this is actually the, because it is the, the top of that north end zone, was actually the last piece of the, of the new construction uh, to get uh, structural concrete in place, which I know is a slow process, but obviously a very important process. Right, right. Um, you guys ended up pouring a lot of concrete on this job, didn't you? Right, Scott. So yeah, this is the top space with, with the way the structure was phased after 25,000 yards of concrete, all the shoring and scaffolding comes out. Uh, and after 2,500 tons of rebar, here we are, metal, wow. metal framing. We're roughing in mechanical electrical systems. And uh, we're also putting in the curtain walls as the architectural precast comes around. That's that's known as windows to, to you and me folks, but it is good to see some windows going in, which obviously once you get it all closed in, allows you to come in and put the drywall and, and do all the finishes that right that that, uh, that makes this space look so nice. We've had a lot of excitement uh, from Bulldog Club members as far as people getting their uh, reserving their spots in the scoreboard club. Um, in fact, since the end of the season, we've nearly doubled the number of scoreboard club seats that have been sold at Davis Wade Stadium, and, and uh, we're on pace. We, we think we got a chance to sell that area out, just like we've sold out the loge seats and the skybox seats. There's still time to get your scoreboard club, so go to msubulldogclub.com and, and get those reserved. We're standing here on the scoreboard terrace, which flanks the, the scoreboard club to the east and the west. We're on the west side of that. Uh, looking down at the uh, the seat bowl, basically in the north end zone, and, and chess. There's uh, during the football season, the fans who are here got to see a lot of the, the rakers and the supports be poured into place at, during the course of the season. Uh, now you guys have been using those supports to drop in the precast seat treads where the actual bleacher seats will go. Um, you guys make quite a bit of progress since we were last in this space. It has. Uh... The treads and risers of the stadia, whatever you want to call them, actually goes pretty quickly. And you'll see those move around at a good pace. And, and where they're erecting now, the walls and spandrels and slabs, it takes a little bit more time where they're, where they're working in the loge to get those just right. But uh, we anticipate, you know, over the next couple months, all the stadia will be complete, including the mid bowl and the upper bowl. So uh, April 12th is Super Bowl all weekend. That's our spring game. Uh, obviously, this space won't be open for fans, but fans who are here in the stadium, sit on the east or west side, uh, they should see, as you said, all the all the seat treads, all the precast concrete of the bowl, seating structure in place, not just in the lower bowl, but also here in the uh, scoreboard club. And then the structural steel that sits atop the scoreboard club uh, and holds the new video board uh, should be in pretty good progress by that point as well. That's right. We, we plan to start the structural steel for the video board in the next few weeks. So. We'll see it going in place. That's going to be a lot of steel because that's a big video board. It is. It's 71 feet tall from the slab. Wow. That's, uh, you're going to be able to see that for a ways.